Julie Roussel here. Hey, I just wanted to welcome you to Wacky Wednesday, where you never know what the topic will be. So thanks for joining in, whether it's live or you're catching on the replay. It's great to spend a few minutes with you. As always, if you hear something that you find helpful or that resonates with you, please leave a reaction, comment your thoughts or answer the questions in the thread, or even if you're just saying hey. Share the video with anyone you think it might help and PM me if you have questions or want to hear more. I'm always happy to share the things that I'm learning and I hope that they help you. So hey, I see a few joining in. Hello, Autumn. Hello, Mike. Hello, hello. Hello, Steve. Hey, John. Nice to see you. Hey, Michelle. Welcome. Hey, Jody. Oh my gosh, Lisa, Jennifer. Great to see you guys all joining in. So um, if I happen to miss your name when you're going across the screen, um, my notes on my camera are both set um, landscape saw, which is to my left and looks like you're right. And most of you know that um, if I don't have my notes right in front of me, I won't be surviving through the video. So I am looking there, but if I do miss you, leave me a hey, let me know that you're there. I'll be happy to recognize you if I miss you. So let me ask you the question for the night. Did you ever play red light, green light as a child? You know, did you know that you're still playing it now? So um, would you please do me a favor and leave your answer in the thread below? Yes, no, never did. Well, if you've ever played red light, green light, you know, that game where there's one person calling out, you know, the colors of red and green and yellow and the players, they happen to move according to the color. And if you are red, oh gosh, I hope my camera's not moving. <laughs> but if you're red, you stop, you know, you're yellow, you walk, you know, green is run. Oh, cool, Autumn, I'm glad you played that too. I'm glad I'm not the only one who did. Um, hey, Brent, welcome, it's great to see you. I haven't caught you in a while. Thanks for joining in. But, um, you know, yellow to walk and green to run. Now the object was to make it all the way to the person who was calling out the colors, right? You know, which kid were you? The one who always said red to keep everybody stopped, you know, alternated colors or even called green just to hurry up and get done. You know, and, and as adults, what's funny is we're still playing that game. Just slightly different version of it. It's like, for example, when you're driving, you know, and you're headed somewhere important on your way to work and you happen to be um, sitting at that red light and you keep catching the red light every stinking time. And it's frustrating, it's long, it's slow, it's just the same old thing over and over again. And you might have road rage and be screaming out, go, come on, what is it with this light? You know, and, and sometimes you're lucky and it's green and it's, you know, you're just moving on your way and you hit every light, it's fast, it's smooth, it's pleasant, it's happy and you love driving, right? So that kind of happened to me. I was on my way to workout class this morning and I was listening to a training podcast, and of course I was <laughs> sitting at red light. You know, it's the way it goes. And, I, and in that podcast, my mentor was talking about how we have red and green lights in our lives. And I kept wondering, what did he mean? And he went on to explain that the red lights are the things that keep you living small and keep you from having the life that you dream of. You know, because you're feeling unhappy or stuck. And basically, it's a story that we make up about a situation where we feel fear to justify not having the courage to face that fear or just take action on it. You know, for example, not trying out for a sports team just because, well, hey, I'm not going to make it and everybody's taller than me. Although everyone is pretty much taller than me. Anyways, that's not the point. Or you say to yourself that I'm not, it's not good enough anyways. You know, or I can't change careers now, it's too late, I'm too old, and I really don't have any skills. Oh, hey, hello, Janet, I see a few more joining in. Andy, great to catch you, lady, it's been a while. Hello, Janet, thank you, lady, I'm glad you have too. You know, or you can't call a friend that you haven't talked to in years. Oh, hello, Dan, nice to see family on. And, you know, you can't call someone you haven't talked to in years because, hey, what are they going to think of me? And it's not like they want to talk to me either, you know, or when you're talking about green lights, you know, these are the things that help you 
be more successful in going after your goals and the things that you want. You know, where you give yourself a pep talk or stories to empower you to take action, to just push past those fears, you know, to just make those changes and see results. You know, for example, yeah, I'm gonna go out for the team, you know, I'll make it, I may be short, but I can bring something to the table, you know, or I'm gonna apply to that job. You know, it's one I've always wanted and I'm going to be good at it. Or I'm gonna start a business, you know, I can be successful because I have the skills and even if I don't, I can learn. You know, those are the things that you can tell yourself to be successful. And I used to think that those red lights that we encounter in our lives just kind of happened naturally. It was just a part of life, just like catching it on the road when you're driving. But, um, <laughs> oh, thanks for the lava and the laughs. I appreciate it. And like I said, I used to think that those, um, I always get lost. I'm easily distracted. But um, those red lights that we encounter when we're driving through life, they don't happen naturally. The, everything in our life starts out as a green light, believe it or not. And that we are the ones putting those red lights in our way. Nobody else, just us. The reason they're there is because we listen and we believe in those doubts, fears, those worries that I can't, I never will, nah, it's, you know, I really shouldn't. And that was very eye-opening for me <laughs> because I realized that there were many times in my life that I was the one who threw up a ton of red lights, not life, not somebody else, me. Wonderful, something else to blame myself for. But, um, you know, I ended up making up a lot of reasons why I couldn't do something, that I was not good enough, that no one was gonna listen to me because who was I? And no one cared anyways, and I don't have skills, so why should I? And even with my business, I almost didn't start it. I almost didn't stick with it because I kept listening to those doubts and those fears over and over again, that negative talk. You've heard that negative talk, right? Oh, hello, Michelle. Hello, Jamie. Hey, Sherry. Nice to see you guys. Thanks for popping in. And um, I always get distracted. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Love you right back. And same thing with my live videos. I almost didn't go live because I was, as I said before, terrified and I was too scared of what people would think and maybe I would screw up and people were gonna laugh at me and I really wasn't, you know, any good at anything anyways. You know, but what I realized is that if I want success to happen, if I wanna achieve my goals, if I wanna do the things that I've always wanted, then I have to stop putting red lights up in my own way. You know, change those bulbs from red to green. Just for that smoother drive. And I'm not saying that it's gonna be easy. <laughs> uh, no, not at all. But it's something that you can do. And once you're conscious of it, it's so much easier to turn those lights from red where you're stopping to green where you go. So when you're driving, absolutely, Janet. Mm-hmm. I think so. I would t I would agree with you. I honestly think it has. So thanks for popping your thoughts in there. I love hearing them. So if anyone else wants to pop theirs in, please feel free. Anytime. You're always welcome. But um, as I was saying before, if you find some heard something helpful, you know, if it resonated with you in any way, would you please leave a comment, um, throw a reaction in there for me. Let, let me know. Share the video with anyone you think it might help. PM me if you have questions or want to hear more about how to turn your red lights to green. So the next time, oh, hey, Nicole, thanks for popping in a few more, great to see you. So the next time that you hear your kids yelling, red light, green light, or you happen to be sitting in that endless stream of red lights in traffic, ask yourself a question. Am I placing red lights in my path? <laughs> no worries, Janet. No worries. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Maria. Hola. But um, I got lost again. No worries. But the next time you hear kids yelling, red light, green light, or you're stuck in that endless stream and red lights and traffic, ask yourself, am I placing red lights in my own path and making up reasons why I can't? 
you know, change careers, learn new skills, try something new, be successful, do what you've always wanted. Or do you green light yourself by giving encouragement and reasons why you can instead of why you can't? Red light, green light. Listen to Pitbull at the beginning. Are you ready to go? I'll catch you.